It's their way of life, but it has become a deadly game of cat and mouse for prostitutes working the Tamiami Trail, a trail which has led five of them, including 28-year-old Nicole Schneider, to their deaths. There is physical evidence that has been taken from the scenes of all uh, the bodies that were found and they are being compared and checked out. The latest piece of physical evidence, two sets of tire marks imprinted in the dirt parallel to the body of victim number five, discovered Saturday morning on Southwest 70th Avenue and 10th Street. Police are now comparing those to a single tire mark left near victim number three, whose body was covered with a message to police. Each case is giving them more uh, tips, it's giving them more physical evidence, and the task force is, is very hard at work seven days a week, uh, probably pretty close to 24 hours a day. There's an eerie set of similarities in each case, all five strangled or asphyxiated, all five fully clothed and dumped face down in residential areas near where they worked. But this latest victim, police say, has worked the streets of Dade County for some time now and should have known better. I did have a, a prostitution arrest back in 19, uh, eight in, in Dade County, dating back to 1986. So it appears that she's been at the trade and living in Dade County for quite a while.